All right, step two in analyzing this approximate demand curve for this company out here. All right, remember, we started by knowing two points of data over here. And we made an assumption, a simplistic assumption, that the demand curve was approximately a straight line. And so we're going to use a straight line demand curve as the background for our discussion. The next thing we want to do is to be able to state the demand equation mathematically. Once we do that, we can play some games with it that will be useful. The demand equation is usually expressed as the quantity demanded equals some function of price. And in order to know what this is, we need to solve for the intercept and the slope. But we already did the slope, you remember, in the last video. We said the slope in this equation was what? Negative 5. So what we need first then is the intercept. What is the quantity when there is a price of 0? That is, when the price goes, let's say, from $20 to 0, the quantity goes from 150 out to some other quantity. How much? Pretty easy change, okay? Pretty easy calculation. We know the slope, negative 5, is the change in quantity over the change in price. And what we're going to do is we're going to drop the price by $20. So this is going to be a negative 20. And we're going to solve for how much does the quantity change. Negative 5 equals the change in quantity over negative 20. Cross multiplying, we get 100, a positive number, minus 5 times minus 20, equals the change in quantity. So when the price drops 20, the quantity increases by 100, the intercept out here is 250 units. So we know our demand equation now, let's use a little different color so we can see it better, is 250, that's the value for quantity when price goes to zero, minus 5 P. There's your slope, the minus 5. So we've got our demand equation pretty quick. And then, again, since we're assuming a straight line here, we're going to do a couple of other things, two things, in fact. First, this is the demand equation in its usual format. How do we present this as an inverse demand equation? Because when we state it in the inverse fashion, it's useful to us in some other calculations. What does an inverse demand mean? It means to define the demand curve in terms of P equals blah, 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 dependent upon Q. To just solve this equation for the value of P. We can start out by saying what? Move the P over here. We get 5P. Move the QD over here. 250 minus QD. Okay, so far? Then we're going to divide by 5. So we get P is equal to 50 divided by 5 minus Q divided by 5. Q over 5, what? One-fifth of Q, or 0 0.20 QD. Now there's our inverse demand equation. All right, so that's the second step here. We've done the, real, the, the normal presentation of demand. We've now presented the inverse demand equation. And the last thing we can do here that is useful, once we know the inverse demand equation, and because it's a straight line, we can now specify the marginal revenue equation. The marginal revenue will be the same thing as the demand equation in inverse, except the marginal revenue curve, we'll draw it out here, the marginal revenue curve is twice as steep. The slope is twice as steep. So we're going to get marginal revenue equals 250, whoops, excuse me there, equals 50, Get the head of myself, right? There's our inverse, is 50 minus twice the slope, 0 0.40 QD. Okay? So we can take the inverse demand, use the same intercept. Remember, they're both coming out of the same point. But it's twice as steep, so it's minus twice that, 0 0.40. QD. Now we have the inverse demand. So what have we done? We calculated the intercept, the quantity intercept when price went to zero. We used that to construct the demand equation in its usual presentation. Then we changed that into an inverse demand equation. And once we knew the inverse demand, we could specify the marginal revenue 
is having the same intercept but twice the slope. Okay? Stay with me. We'll do a little more with this and try and show you why, in fact, economics may be a little useful, even for small businesses.